what's up guys today I am back I'm making a new video for you it's that time of year it is actually deer season so this year I'm excited to add um, my deer hunting to the channel I've always been an avid hunter and fisherman but primarily on this channel I've shared mostly just the fishing this year we're gonna be adding the hunting side to it I'm out in a new field today and I thought hey what better way to make a video than to talk about how to locate deer on a new place that you've never hunted before now, I know you could probably find lots of videos and people are gonna tell you this and tell you that, and maybe this will be helpful for you, maybe it won't. But either way, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below, and let's get into it. So, this is a family owned property, but I have never um, deer hunted this, I've never scouted it, never anything like that. Um, so, I'm out here today, I came out earlier with my, with my daughter, and so one thing that I want to talk about uh, on how I try to locate deer on a property is typically I'll have one trail camera. Sometimes I'll have more. Um, depending, if you have multiple cameras, that'll work well because then you can put it in different places. But um, the first thing I like to do is take a look at the property on area, like Google Maps, Onyx, something that shows an aerial view of the property. Um, the first place I look is if there's any water on the property if there's water on the property i will go to those water holes look around them to see if there's any footprints if there's footprints i'll put a camera on there and see how active they are to that water hole the second thing i try to look for are what i call like travel corridors um areas that, that deer would probably be traveling and be protected to get to the water so in this particular instance as you can see on the map um I found this area that is by an old creek bed that's covered in trees but leads um, to other properties surrounding this one but also to the water hole that I know um, the, the deer have been at because we looked at that and I've also talked to locals who have seen them f drinking out of this pond so that's another tip right there is talking to people that it may be out there around the property to see if they have seen any of that. I want to add a caveat that this is not the only way to locate deer. This is just the way that I do it. There's many different ways to do it and everybody's going to have the, their own mode or method to that. I'm trying to see if I can get this without being so overexposed. Um, and so here's what we're going to do. Um, as I Now I've put out corn because I stuck out my trail camera. My trail camera texts me. It tells me um, when stuff set it off. Alright, so um, sorry about the overexposure. I'm trying to uh, figure this out and it's not it's not working right now for me to change it. But um, anyway, so I've already put corn because I have found on my trail camera there are deer here. I came out here a couple days. I didn't put any feed down. I just stuck a camera in an area that I thought they were. And the reason I thought so is because if you look right here on this fence, all right, so if you can see right here on this fence, this is the property line, but there's a big hole right here where something has been, and the, the ground right here is is scraped up, right? You see that? And if you kind of see my, my hand and through the camera, you can kind of see that there's a trail that goes through that way. So obviously, um, even to the side, you know, obviously something has been using this. This is loose. You can see the two wires on top of each other, this wire, this is loose so <clears throat> I found the closest tree if you don't have a tree that's fine but the tree is right here um, I put a trail camera right there I have hung a feeder now and added corn this was not here when I first came out here to scout sorry I'm having issues with this camera and the overexposure and I'm trying to get the lighting so you guys can see me and talk to you so anyways I don't just put corn down for the sake of putting corn down corns kind of expensive I don't just waste it and hope that deer show up to it I do my research and I'll show you on these maps how I found this in this particular property hopefully that'll transfer over you guys and help you guys out I'll show you some pictures from the trail cam uh, right about now of the different deer that I've seen on there or reason to believe but I've seen a coyote also so a lot of times when coyotes are using trails deer and other um, wildlife will also use those trails just don't think just because there's a coyote there there won't be a deer there I've seen coyotes and deer feeding at the same place I've seen them around each other not attacking each other or fighting each other so it happens um, they do interact in the wild not just um, predator and prey so anyways I found this trail I set up the camera I let it set for two days I had deer on it within the first day um, sorry I'm gonna switch back over to the lighting here 
and then I had deer on it the second day, which is today. So I came out here with some corn. I put corn in places that were going to attract the deer. Um, obviously right in front of this trail. I put some over here in front of the camera and kind of just created a path. Now, one thing I probably shouldn't have done and I don't necessarily recommend is putting the corn right on the trail. Obviously it's gonna have a scent to it, so you want it to be in a proximity where they could smell it and see it, but you don't want to disrupt their natural pattern. So I actually put this a little too close to the trail, not paying attention, I was in a hurry. It'll probably be fine, but you probably want to do it a little bit further away, which is probably good distance, you know, right here, away from, you know, it's in the path of the trail, but it's not, not in the way of the trail. And then I put some um, just under the feeder and some right in front of the camera. So the idea is that since there's no cattle on here right now, the deer will find this. Hopefully they'll come to it and start eating and it'll become a um, normal part of their habit or yeah, normal part of their routine um, to come through and eat this corn and be there. So the next step I have after mapping this out, once I can um, watch it a little bit longer and make sure the deer are coming to the feed is finding a tree or an area where I can set up a blind or a tree stand because this is going to be an archery area. It's perfect. Nobody hunts this property here. The people that own it live out of state. Nobody hunts it. Nobody's allowed to hunt it. So it's kind of like a sanctuary for the deer. Um, that's another thing I'll show you on the maps is I, I, I looked at areas that I knew people hunted or have uh, potentially would hunt just from local knowledge. Um, if you're not sure, just assume that it's being hunted and try to find the area that's the least hunted. In this instance, on this particular property, this is a side that is by a piece of property that I know is not hunted. And um, since it's archery season, I don't have to worry about people with rifles or things like that who may be trespassing or, or doing that. So we're getting on them early. Um, and so hope this video helps. I'll see you guys on the next one. We'll have more hunting and more fishing stuff to go. And... Uh, I'm out.